So this is Sergey from Propersoft and uh, in this video I will show you how to convert a CSV file with transactions to a compatible WebConnect QFX file with Quicken for Mac and import transactions into Quicken for Mac. So Quicken for Mac imports QFX files also called WebConnect files and CSV Mint files. Those are two options uh, for Quicken for Mac. And in this video we will try to convert a CSV file to QFX format. So let's say you have a CSV file and it was downloaded from your bank or created manually in Excel or any other way and you need to import those transactions into Quicken. And the easiest way is to use the proper convert app, load this CSV file into app, set QFX settings and create a QFX file and import it. So let's, in our case we have sample file loaded and you may need to change the mapping how columns on CSV file uh, should be you know, parsed by, by the converter how converter should understand your CSV files, so which column is date, which column is amount, and so on. And if you need to adjust it, click the view mapping button. And there is CSV mapping, and you tell the parser like which column should be used for which transaction detail. So in our case, we have CSV files, date, amount, payee, memo, check number, type, and category. Uh, and we tell the parser how we would use those columns for transaction details. These are transaction details and other settings. We tell the parser how to parse the CSV file. And we see that date is set as date, amount as amount, payee as name, and memo as memo, check as document number, and type uh, if it's provided uh, uh, how to use it if you if your amount column has positive and negative number you don't need to do this status thing because the amount is enough and if you call if you have two columns debit and credit uh, or withdrawal and deposits then you would use this to do not use and instead use deposit column and withdrawal column and if you have uh, like one amount column with all positive numbers and then you have type column with words like debit credit then you would use amount and status column so those are short uh, videos like short sidetrack about mapping and then you would look at uh, how your transactions are parsed if you see that dates correct amounts correct like n expenses must be negative payments to the account must be positive, name, doc, uh, document numbers, everything aligned, everything is parsed as it should, then we're ready to convert to QFX format. So first we need to make sure that we have QFX format selected. Click on the Cubo QFX OFX tab and then set the file type as QFX Quicken US. If you're Canadian then you would use Quicken Canada. If you're not Canadian, not US, but you're using certain Quicken version, most likely it's going to be Quicken US. And uh, for QFX file, you need to set this value into bit value. This is like a number. In uh, Quicken has a kind of like a list of banks, and each bank has a number. And certain banks are allowed, certain banks not allowed, certain banks allowed for checking accounts and certain bonds allowed only for credit card accounts so in you can search for your bank something like capital one for example so this bank is allowed for checking account and credit card account and let's say this bank is not allowed for anything not allowed so do not use any value that is listed as na this list comes from quicken quicken up so um 
that's the list that you get you you don't define it you don't set it you just use it and use it to your advantage that use the value that is allowed and if you cannot choose use value 3000 which is a Wells Fargo label so there is also bank ID and branch ID you can leave those empty for Quicken and the other set of important settings are account ID and account type and currency so for Quicken US you can currency must be US dollars for Quicken Canada it can be US dollars or Canadian dollars there is no other currency allowed for QFX files for Quicken for Mac and if you have non -U US non US currency I would suggest to use CSV mint file instead to avoid confusion but there is also a workaround for QFX file as well and there is another video for the workaround so if you have one account you can use any number here just enter the number or use the default of it number don't change it and keep it just uh, set account type correctly and that's it if you have multiple accounts choose a number for one for first account and choose a number for another account and make sure to use those different numbers when you convert for different accounts that's it don't forget to change account ID if you convert for different account so now it's ready to convert and you can click open after save for what will happen is uh, the file will be created and the system the the converter will call this the uh, your operating system macOS in this example and will ask uh, the app that associated with those files to import that file it could be quicken it could be something else so if uh, but it is convenient when you have this set that when you click convert and confirm file name then you know it will be just imported into default app uh, if you have few um, few more seconds i suggest to uncheck this click convert confirm the file name and then switch to quicken go to file import bank or brokerage file and select your created QFX file so what will happen is Quicken imports this QFX file it sees that account ID it sees that there is nothing associated with that account ID and it's uh, it will ask you select account to import uh, like uh, import transactions but it asks you to do this link you see it says other link account you would be uh, you would like to add it to quicken so it offers to create a new account this is type this is action and then this is account name this one of options you can uh, I would call in this case like a proxy or Im import so if this in this case you would import into a new uh, that into that import account all the time and then you would need to move transactions from that import account to another account and this is one of great options because it's kind of provides this buffer but you may not want this option you may want to import directly so in this case you need to select account existing account so in our case we have US dollars currency so we need to select US account otherwise it would see that in the currency on the account is different from the currency on QFX file and will not import so that's uh, that those are options so let's say uh, was with we want to add new account import so I would, I would go here so we have new account created 
all transactions are imported what you can do is select tra transactions here so click the first one then hold the shift button and click the, the last one and then click your mouse button left if you have two buttons left button and drag your mouse to account where you want transactions to be it can be any currency it could be can Canadian dollar, uh, euro account, or US dollars account. It doesn't matter which currency here, all those amounts will be as is. So let's say, uh, let's move it to Canadian account. And so quick and says you want to, to move those transactions. Yes. And now we have those transactions, amounts did not change. And so you would, you would have in your csv file canadian dollar transactions but you set currency as us dollars then you would import this into import account and then you would move those transactions under canadian account that's how it is done if you have us account then you would just move it under us dollars account so let's uh, so this is a good example and uh, now we don't have anything here except balance so what we will do is delete this account and now let's try to import directly under us dollars account so go to file import qfx sample qfx and then select existing account and continue and then we have transactions imported directly into this account and they also have this uh, blue icon means they are new and ready for review so that's it that's how you convert csv file to qfx and import into quicken for mac thank you for watching please subscribe